In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jennifer Aniston's home is definitely where her heart is. The actress has given peeks inside her beautiful and peaceful estate located in Bel Air, Los Angeles ever since she joined Instagram in 2019. Jen is a self-confessed homebody and there's nowhere she'd rather be than at her $21 million home she purchased back in 2011 and decorated to her own personal taste. Jennifer Aniston is an actress and producer who began working in the industry at an early age with an uncredited role in the 1988 film Mac and Me. Jen's first major film role came in the 1993 horror flick Leprechaun, but since we got to know and love her playing Rachel Green on the sitcom Friends, she became one of the world's highest paid actresses. Films with her as the leading role have grossed over $1.6 billion worldwide, with 12 of them earning at least $100 million. That being said, it should come as no surprise that Jen has amassed an estimated net worth of $300 million or more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This time, checking out the Bel Air property of Jennifer Aniston and more of her homes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Jen has been living in her stunning 1970s style mega mansion with her dogs following her split from Justin Thoreau way back in 2018. They bought the place back in 2011 for $21 million, but since then, Jen has completely reimagined the home. Located hillside in the elite neighborhood of Bel Air, Los Angeles, her mansion is fit for a movie star considering its amazing location and privacy. Bel Air is full of celebrity neighbors and is situated in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains right off of Sunset Boulevard and offers spots like the Hotel Bel Air and the Bel Air Country Club in close proximity. Jen's estate spans 8,500 square feet of living space inside and sits on about two sprawling acres of land, while there are also four beds and 6.5 baths. From every large balcony in her house, you were able to take in the panoramic ocean and city views. Jen has shown off the minimalistic yet rustic aesthetic of her home time and time again, and she for sure found the perfect balance between classic and modern design. Fans have caught a glimpse of the actress's kitchen, two living areas, and much more over the years, and it's no doubt that Jen is cozy at home with her beloved pet dogs. Walking into Jen's mansion, you're greeted by an impressive 14-foot front door, leading into an airy entrance hall with sparkling chandelier and an indoor koi pond. The pond is covered by a beautiful wooden bridge and leads into more open space boasting a zen-like feel. Jen is really proud of her home and collaborated with designer Stephen Shadley, who's helped her on previous houses, to transform the place into basically her perfect LA retreat. She's described her home as a big hug and stating that she loves the silence there. Her designer Stephen explained about her taste. Jen is drawn to wood, stone, and bronze materials that have real substance and depth. No matter how beautiful or glamorous something is, it has to be warm and inviting. One of Jen's favorite things about her home is the fact that it's the perfect place to hold gatherings and parties to entertain family and friends. There are certainly enough bedrooms at Jen's mansion for her friends, and there's also a ton of room to entertain them. The actress often both the actress often hosts her pals at her house for dinner and luncheons and it's obvious that she purchased this extraordinary property to be able to share it with her loved ones too. Of course, she has a handful of beautifully designed common areas in her house. For instance, there's Jen's living room where she loves to unwind and has given us a glimpse of on her Instagram. It offers a great color palette throughout and the sofa has a silvery throw and patterned matching cushion. We've seen one living room with a gold embroidered wall as well and large cream armchair. She also has a photo shelf in this room. Jen's kitchen, where she says she spends a lot of her time is a modern masterpiece with plenty of islands and cupboard space. Not to mention it's fit with a pizza oven and a wine room as well as high ceilings and an open relaxed vibe. Guests usually gather in the large games room where you can see Jen's vintage pool overlooking LA so it has a bit of an indoor outdoor flow. The interior of her home definitely lets in a lot of light, has floor to ceiling windows and a modern open design for the most part. In fact Jen's abode actually offers two separate living wings so there's a lot of room to roam around. Other features to keep her entertained include 
include the home movie theater, her exceptional home office, and the large outdoor swimming pool. There's also an additional guest house. Jen has changed a lot about the home since her divorce, but it's as elegant as ever. Jen's master suite may now even be the feature of the mansion, and it sits at the end of a long hallway boasting a large platform bed with motorized TV at the end, and further opens up onto a private garden terrace with outdoor seating area. Of course, she has a spa-like style master bathroom with a marble tub and features that she shared photos of before. Jen has more than one impressive closet at her home. Her massive walk-in attached to her bedroom is almost the size of a studio apartment and it has been shown in snaps posted to her Instagram as well or her stylist team's social media account. Jen's closet is basically more like a giant dressing room and there's even space for a catwalk when she tries on her outfit. She has three huge floor-to-ceiling wardrobes here full of well-organized clothes and accessories as well as a vanity table for hair and makeup. When her and Justin were still living together, he even told Ryan Seacrest that she turned the garage of the home into a closet as well, explaining, We have made an extension on our house. I don't know what was made into what, but we found more room to create a better bathroom and a closet. Throughout the home, there are plenty of walkout terraces and balconies, like this one that Jen had posted photos of surrounded by glass railings. Elsewhere, Jen has created a sunny and plant-lined home gym, which features floor-to-ceiling windows, along with weight sets, kettlebells, and more exercise equipment. No wonder the star always looks so fit. On the surrounding grounds of Jen's mansion, there's an outdoor cabana with fireplace and lounge chairs, as well as the large pool with tanning deck attached, while her huge garden has Buddhist statues and beautiful landscaping. This space is perfect for a peaceful stroll. The property also used to have a hillside vineyard, but Jen's garden design designer and architect wanted it instead to be an oasis consisting of terraces, like Asian-inspired pocket gardens and interconnected rooms. Jen has perfect privacy at her estate as well, thanks to a tall wooden fence and surrounding gate. Prior to Jen's Bel Air estate, she called many California mansions home, each one more beautiful than the last, it seems. One of the homes she owned way back with ex Brad Pitt was actually on the market not too long ago, and from looking at photos, it's a definite favorite of mine. Back in 2001, Jen and Brad bought this mansion for over $13 million. Located in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and when it was put on the market, the prices increased over the years to over 44 million. This French Normandy revival style mansion spanned a massive 12,000 square feet of living space with four beds and 12 baths in the main house, as well as an additional guest house with bedroom. The estate was super elegant and not to mention private. There were two separate gated entrances to the home on different streets, which isn't surprising since the land covered over 1.2 acres. Jen's previous home had a light-filled living room with floor-to-ceiling windows, a gourmet eating kitchen, and dining room that fit up to 20. Other features included a home gym, a large private screening room, and even a pub room with floors from a 200-year-old French chateau. There's a lower-level bar, sitting room, and a great room, with windows and French doors that open up to the patio. On the grounds outside, you'll find plenty of space to dine and entertain, along with a huge swimming pool, outdoor fireplace, and a more recently added tennis court. Well, now we've checked out where Jennifer Aniston calls home, so that wraps up this house tour. We got to check out her beloved Bel Air property where she loves to unwind. We got to check out her beloved Bel Air property where she loves to unwind with her pups and seemingly has created the home to fit her favorite design taste. Out of all the features, what was your favorite part of the mansion? I thought it was so peaceful and homey and love the outdoor landscaping, gardens, and the pool too. Well, be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Jen's home down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!